Brutal, wasn't it? Well, uh, Matthew Macklin hoping for an easier nice work on Saturday. We're going to hear from him now, talking to Adam Smith. Well, that Moore-Macklin fight was really one of the thrillers domestically of the last decade. I'm with the loser, Matthew Macklin, but in many ways, in hindsight, was it actually one of the better things that's happened to you? Yeah, possibly. You know, I had a, a, a 11 months out of the ring after that, but I come back better bigger, better and stronger, I moved up to middleweight, you know, and since then, I, you know, I've never lost as a middleweight, um, you know, I've definitely, my performance has improved, I've changed, I've gone back to use my jab a bit more, and uh, I think, I think, you know, I've definitely a better fighter for that experience. Yeah, you've won eight on the spin, and you've been out with Freddie Roach, the renowned trainer in Hollywood, good sparring there, might need it, against this Shalva Jomadashvili, who's won 27 of 30 and is tough. Yeah, very tough opponent. You know, he lost a very close fight with Martin Murray, who's the Commonwealth champion. So, you know, it's a great opportunity for him, him to come and uh, try and win the European title. But, you know, I'm, I'm the unofficial European champion as I vacated it. And come Saturday night, I'll be the official European champion again. And your home is literally a stone's throw away from here. This big stage, this big arena Saturday night, it's all yours, isn't it? Exactly. You know, like I say, my mum's house is less than two miles from here. And, uh, you know, this, this lovely arena here, you know, I grew up watching the, uh, the likes of Ben and Eubank here. So it's very proud moment for me to uh, to top the bill here and win back my European title. And will this drive you on towards world honours? Definitely. I think, you know, not just to be good, a good fighter, you need to be a marquee name and a big named attraction where, you know, people are going to come in and watch you and buy tickets and you're going to sell, you know, big viewing figures. And I think that's what, that's what you know, tonight, to Saturday night's going to be all about. We look forward to it, Matthew. Thank you. We do. It's going to be a proud night, isn't it, for Matthew Macklin? Yeah, it's going to be a tremendous night. I think Macklin believes he should be a star already, and I agree with him, but he's wasted so much time changing trainers, changing gym gymnasiums, not applying himself, uh, you know, enjoying himself too much between fights. If, Ma if Macklin is going to realise his potential, the next two years are crucial, and that all starts on Saturday night. And what potential he has? He's got great potential, but as Jim says, he needs to do it now. He's 28 now, you know, he's done well to come back from that devastating loss, but he needs to do it now. The scene set for him to put on a great display and a great performance at home and make his home crowd really proud. So it, he's got that to do. Well, uh, one of Macklin's finest performances was when he clinched the, uh, the vacant European title against Finland's Aminata Kainen. Everyone thought it would be a really tough, nice work. Yeah, beforehand, uh, people were split. Uh, Asakainen came with a great reputation, maybe coming a little bit towards the end of his career. But the first solid punch that Macklin landed had him on the floor. And Asi Kainen was never allowed to recover from that. Macklin is a natural puncher, a natural finisher, so he just kept his cool. And uh, his experience at this level was very important. But that night, he showed his potential. But we want to see him continue to show that. Well, this has really lifted his career, hasn't it? This victory here against Asa Kainen lifted him up. And I think that gave him the belief to, to think he can operate on the world stage. Very intelligent fighter, isn't he? Yeah, he is intelligent in the ring. I wish mm. he was every bit as intelligent outside the <laughs> ring because that's where the time has been wasted. He's good enough to do the job. Let's go on and do it.